Hey everyone, well we're here, we're back, and today we're doing another anti-MLM video, and the MLM we will be talking about today is Color Street, so you know it's gonna be fun. It's not about winning, it's about fun. What's that? What about the fun? Fun is when you... Fun is... It's like... It's kind of... Sort of like a... What is fun? I... Let me spell it for you. Who wants to cover the fun? Yes, we have a Color Street video for today. It is the nail polish one or the nail sticker one for those of you who may not know. I also have tried Color Street myself, so if you are at all interested in that video, if you have not seen it, I will link it right here for you. It, uh, it was an experience for sure. Um, definitely a product that I will never be buying again because I firmly believe that you can buy very, 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 very similar products for much cheaper, which is always a running theme when it comes to MLM products. The video we will be reacting to today is an opportunity call, so they will be pitching us the Color Street opportunity because it is just within all of our dreams to sell overpriced nail stickers to all of our friends and family. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really, really like it, please subscribe. Make sure to check out my description for all my fun links. And with all of that said, let's get started. Yay. Hi. Um, well, welcome to those of you who have joined us this morning. Um, we are, uh, I, um, that is, um, is actually my sponsor in this business. She's a Ruby National Executive Director with Color Street. I am a Senior Executive Director with Color Street, um, and we are super excited to tell you a little bit more about the Color Street opportunity. Uh, it's incredible. Um, I actually told no, at first she's my sponsor, um, but thankfully she did not give up on me and uh, we have been together now in this journey. Notice how it's the upline didn't give up on the person who they kept bothering to join. It's not that you give up on that person. Like it should not be worded that way. You gave them, you know, you pitched your sales pitch to them. They said no you move on. Like, obviously, they are aware that the opportunity is out there. So if that is something they want, they now know it is there and they can come to you. But no, in an MLM, it's bother them until they say yes or they block you. It should not be one extreme or the other. It should just be, hey, do you want to do this with me? And they're like, no, it's not really something I'm interested in. You're like, oh, okay, cool. And you move on. It's not that you, them saying no, thank you. And then you being like, okay, I respect that is giving up on them for over four years since the company launched here in the united states that would make sense on why she is at basically one of the highest ranks in the company because she got in at the beginning and i truly can't believe how much we have grown we have grown to uh, an over a billion dollar company billion that's billion with a b uh in those four short years and you know in any other company that is not an MLM, hitting a billion dollars is, it takes a very long time. It is very, very rare. But weird how in MLMs, it's pretty common. It happens quite a bit. And that's because the main customer is working for or, you know, claiming that it is their own business. They're being sold a lie. And that boosts the company sales like crazy because if I mean I guess the product can you know it's it's a product that can be sold you know fairly easily depending on who where you go to and who you are but still to be a billion dollar company in four years if that was just based off of product congrats that is amazing but we know it's not we know it is not based off of just people buying the product and wanting it that much is people believing the the dream and buying into an opportunity that isn't real and that's really sad and um even it, it just again blows my mind because i remember sitting 
and saying, it's an 11 to $14 product. How much money is really here to make? And oh my goodness, there's a lot of money here to make. So um, not, not really when I believe you get 25% commission when you sell one. And I think if you sell X amount of product, um, it boosts it up to, I think the motion get back is 35%. But to make good livable money, you would have to sell so many of those. Like, so many of those nail kits to make a livable income. And then that's when uh, people start to create downlines and that's when they see money. They're like, oh, this is where the money is. This organization that we are a part of, um, there are multiple leaders in this organization and we make up about 121 million of that uh, billion. So that's pretty impressive too. And we obviously want you to be a part of this amazing collaborative team that we have as well. There's so many reasons that people join this business and we're going to talk to you a little bit more about our own reasons a little bit later, but um, you know, there's people who come in to make money to pay bills and to connect with others. Um, they may be wanting to save some money on their manicures. Um, I don't know what the cost of a, a salon mani is up in Canada, but I know that that can be a big driver for some of our folks down here in the U.S. Um, and you know, maybe you just you're looking for something fun to add sparkle to your life and to help you make a difference. Um, but there's so many reasons. Make a difference. It's it's nail stickers. It's nail stickers. And no matter what your reason is, someone thought enough of you to invite you to be here with us on this call. Um, so we are here today to just give you a little bit of insight into Color Street, into our team, into our team dynamic, um, and see how it may be able to provide a solution for you in your life. Uh, you've likely seen a graphic of the starter kit, um, and that is something that is valued um, United States, it's $129, valued at $250 US dollars. Um, Canadian, that is $159 Canadian, valued at about $318. Um, that's got 13 full sets, and these are the full sets here. Um, accent nails and samples, your, all your business supplies, your catalogs, your opportunity brochures, all kinds of goodies. Um, you can sell those sets right out of your kit, which helps you make that investment back right away, uh, which is amazing. And in case you didn't know about the product, just in case there's anyone here who hasn't seen it before, we are 100% real nail polish in this little thin strip. Um, it is quick and it is super simple. The base coat, the color, the top coat, it's all in there. And the product can last anywhere from seven to 14 days, depending on how tough you are on your nails. Um, it's not seven to four. You know, I think it was closer to, before I started to notice any sort of wear on it, it was probably day four or five. And I believe I fully took them off at day nine because they looked so bad like they were chipping so bad they were peeling uh could have just been what I was doing but I was doing nothing different than I would in my everyday life and you know at least with like regular like nail polish if there's like a chip or something I can just you know put a little coat on and we're good you know it looks good again with these nail stickers, there was nothing I could do. I just had to sit there and look at it. Now, the set that I chose, I do believe was really pretty. It was pink sparkly, looked good. But again, I could buy pink nail, I can buy pink sparkly nail polish, you know? So if we're much cheaper than 10 to $14, I could buy a bottle for what, five bucks probably? Um, I need to do that, I should do that. I was just saying earlier, I'm mid Manny here. I've got um, our gorgeous solid Caribbean coral right here and I'm ready to um, jazz it up a bit with some of our um, fantastic transparent strips. So there's, there's glitters, there's solids, there's everything. It's amazing. And you get 16 double-ended strips in this package that is going to help fit all nail sizes. So um, super exciting and it's 100% real nail polish. So you can remove it with regular old nail polish remover, which is my favorite part because again, um, I wanna keep things simple and easy in my life. Now, I'm not a big uh, nail polish sticker person. Is Are you able to take off um, other nail companies, nail polish stickers with nail polish remover? I'm curious about that. So I'm going to uh, take over. I'm going to share my screen if I can do this right and share a little bit of our Color Street journey. So 
um, shared a little bit about the product, but you know, you've heard a little bit about that, but we have such a great story to tell you guys. So Mr. Park here is our founder and he literally you know, was on a bus one day, saw a woman in traffic in a town car, the window goes down, she's painting her nails, flowing, you know, the next light, you know, drive the next light, the window comes down. And from that vision, he decides like, there's got to be a better way. Like, it's pretty magical that his mind decided like, oh, I need to create something like this. So, um, you know, this start was the start of his 25 year journey to perfect this product. And he was offered like $14 million about seven years ago, and he had nothing. He had nothing, but he had this vision that he wanted to deliver this product to the world. Like he had spent his you know, life um, chasing after this dream and he, you know, they wanted his product and his technology and all that kind of stuff. He's like, no, I've spent my life doing this. So I want to deliver this product to the world. So um, that is really why he chose Color Street and a direct selling um, division to you know, deliver this product to everyone's living rooms. And um, so- Yeah, but he had it in- Walmart, I believe in some places, um, it's called Coco Nail. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Coco Nail. Like he owns that and it's in Walmart. And I believe there's Walmarts all over the world. So if people wanted that and have that as an option, you've done it. You've delivered it to the world by putting it in a convenient place at a competitive price. But no, there's a better way to get it all over the world and make a lot of money very fast when you make it an MLM business structure. The MLM business structure is great for the business that creates it, not great for the people. We're really on our way. So we're going to show you some of the amazing um, uh, advancements that we've made in just a few years. So this is sort of a little bit of our journey. So um was one of the founding stylists with me. So um we were kind of working before we even opened our doors in June of 2017. And that's when we launched. So in our first school year, you guys, a hundred million in sales. So remember that, you know, 11 to $14 product for you all, it's like 14 to $17 or 1775. It, 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 we're not selling $400 for, you know, product. So a hundred million dollars in sales our first school year. We were ranked 78. Right. But clearly, if it's anything like we're seeing with Savvy, where they are, and of course, Savvy is obviously selling higher end items, like the item is a lot more pricier, but their whole thing is to buy the business opportunity. So I'm guessing when Color Street started, they were selling the business opportunity. So when you're selling $130 kits, you know, times 20,000, times 50,000, that's going to help a lot than a couple people here and there buying two sets of $10 nail polish stri strips or, you know, three sets of $14. Yeah, when you say it like that, it's like, oh, that's crazy. But when you're selling the business opportunity, the brand is going to skyrocket a lot faster. In the world, again, just being in the U.S., we were a Bravo Award winner, a Bravo Award winner, and that is for um, a direct sales award. And again, most of those companies are global, while we are just still in the United States. Thirty-eight thousand stylists strong. Fast forward to 2019, 220 million in sales, 38 in the world, and 60,000 stylists. And then last year, when you know COVID hit, um, 597. Yeah, I know that a lot. Like. I hear this a lot from so many uh, people in MLMs. They say like when COVID hit, like our sales skyrocketed, our, you know, the number of people we have in the company grew to even more because people wanted a way to make money. And that I, I hate, I hate that because you know that they used COVID as a way to promote their MLM which is gross and wrong. And people were believing that this is a way for them to make money. And they probably were like trying as hard as they could. And they were realizing this is not for me. This is actually putting me in more debt than I was. I'm spending more money trying to make this work than I'm seeing bringing, you know, coming in. And they used a pandemic to their advantage and you you see it they're like oh we're so happy that COVID happened and it's like to even say that is disgusting million in sales so more than the first few years combined 27th in the world another bravo winner and 120 stylists so i'm really excited about where we're going to go in 2021 as you know we open the doors in canada on monday 
So um, we are officially the number one nail brand in the U.S. And as I said, we hit 100. Number one nail color brand in the U.S. Hmm. Weird how when I type in what is the number one nail color brand, I get Sally Hansen. Why am I not surprised? I don't know where they get this idea that every MLM is the number one of whatever they're selling. Like, no, you're not. According to this, like, this is just, you know, what Google pops up. Uh, it's Sally Hansen. So what is the most popular nail polish brand? Jim Soon, Essie, Sally Hansen, Le Chat, Audubon, Chanel Beauty, Sundays, OPI. And this was from June of this year. So on this list, where where is Color Street? Hmm, and that's out of the top eight. So I don't know. And who knows? Maybe maybe whoever wrote this is a hater and, and they, they just hate Color Street. Uh, but this is, let's see, where, where, this is from Harper's Bazaar. I mean, of course, every, everything is different, but you would think that a thing of listing the 20 best nail polish brands, if Color Street is it, is the number one, then it should be number one. 1.2 billion in lifetime sales, and our group accounts for about 10% of those sales. That's absolutely crazy. The other day, I saw the... MLM Boss Babe on Instagram posted, I'll put the picture right here, but it said, it's interesting how an MLM rep will tell you that you should support their small business and not give your money to some big million or billion dollar company. But when it's time to recruit you, they use the fact that they are an established multi-million or billion dollar company as a selling point, which we have heard from the first lady that said like we're a billion dollar company after four years this woman is like putting that out as a selling point like we have sold so much and our um group alone has sold 10 percent of that so and that is so absolutely true that is something they do where it's like oh you won't support a small stay-at-home mom a small <laughs> you won't support a stay-at-home mom small business but you'll support a big billion dollar company like it's nothing i think they mean like amazon or walmart uh but yet yeah when it's time to recruit you they talk so proudly about how they are a million or billion dollar company so funny how that works um, we have a Color Street Foundation and 35 point million to date has been donated to charities. Um, Mrs. Park, uh, Bob Park's wife, the foundation, there's a full time staffer who um, really they focus on um, picking really meaningful organizations where our money can go a long way. And as I said, you can make some money in this business. And so far, Color Street has paid out 600 million to stylists in commissions and rebates. 300 of 10, 310 of that was just in the last year. So um, here are just, again, where Color Street ranks in some of these, you know, in the direct sales, sales world, um, highest in growth here, 15th in this top 20 list, 24th on this list. So again, we are kind of making a mark very quickly in our direct selling journey here. And again, we're super excited about going to Canada. I know we have stylists from the U.S. and in Canada on this uh, on this call, but because we can sponsor here. Any of my uh, Canadian viewers, I guess, uh, I mean, this was a couple months ago, so maybe you have seen Color Street pop up here and there. Um, I guess just be on the lookout. We're in the U.S. and Canada and sell in the U.S. and the same for Canadians. Just like to kind of share a little bit about this. I like how they put Canada's population. Like, look at how many people you can sell to. 38 million people don't want your your sticker, your your nail polish stickers. I, I can almost guarantee that. You know, the Canadian population is 38 million. So like, they act like the whole population of Canada is just, just has been waiting for color street nails. And they're finally like, oh, perfect. All 38 million of you just have been waiting. They've got a huge market potential. And because of the geographic spread, they are already accustomed to kind of, you know, shopping online. And I found this interesting that the Canadian orders are about 10 to 15% higher than they are in the US. So again, some, some of you may be new to direct sales. It may be sort of a new, you know, animal for you, but it is a huge industry. So generated 40.1 billion in 2020 alone. And if you look at that, you know, like 
7.7 million were, were from direct sales. So like that, that's pretty huge. And if you're looking again, people are like, oh, you know, I don't have a lot of time. I work or I, I want to do something fun on the side. You know, almost all of these folks are doing this as a part time um, opportunity. And many of them are women, although we do love our male stylists as well. So um, talked a little bit about what comes in the starter kit. So you're going to you know, I love it that it's a business in the box box ready to go. So you don't need to have, you know, a lot of other additional things. The one other um, thing, in addition to your starter kit, you will have a monthly website fee that does not kick in until your first after after your first full month in the business. Something I think they also don't um, include is like, let's say you have you buy um, or even even the sets that come in the kit and somebody says like, oh, I want that because maybe you're selling it on Instagram or something. You have to buy stamps and letters or poly mailers or whatever you want to do. And maybe you want to send them a sample of, you know, the two finger sample in there. So you got to buy a couple other things as well. So they act like it's like an all in one starter kit, but it's not because there's plenty of people who mail things and definitely that stuff adds up. And then it's only $9.95 in the U.S. and it's going to be $12.95 in Canada. And in with that website, you know, it's a beautiful website. You can place all your orders, process all your major credit cards. Um, the hostess program is paid in full by the company. You get access to online training, beautiful graphics. So it's really a great resource. And wow, it's really, really reasonable. So um, again, I love that you have a business. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you have to pay ten dollars a month so that's you know someone wanted to buy from you and you know you send them to your unique code and your unique website unique and it's not your unique website just like where you can get your commission from them but all the other stuff that you listed like graphics you can make that yourself for free uh trainings i i know they have all these free youtube trainings and there's the facebook groups or they offer the free trainings so you're paying ten dollars a month mainly just to like keep yourself active, but like they add these other things that I view are just, you know, extra things that are, that should be free. Wearable, portable, shareable business in a box. And again, we're a pretty awesome group of women and men. So um, I'm gonna kind of uh, tell you a little bit about our team and I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing um, so we can go back to, I thought we were going to look at everybody's beautiful faces up there on the screen. Oh, well, I did. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you saw this. That was just a small sampling of our amazing team. Um, we have so many women. That picture was a small sampling. I mean, I guess they said they sold like one point something million, which means that you have to have a stupid amount of people on your team. And for them to be as high ranking as they are in Color Street, they have to have a massive downline underneath them. But for her to say that was just a small sampling of our team, that was a lot of people. And, and some men um, of all ages, all sizes, all backgrounds, all, you know, uh, education levels, you know, we are not salespeople. Most of us didn't have any sales experience before coming into. I mean, I guess, yes, you are not professional salespeople, but you are salespeople. That is your job. This, but we are engineers and teachers and healthcare professionals and PhDs and you know lawyers and you know professionals in so many different arenas. You know we have people who still work full time jobs who do this as a, a side uh, business with their families. We have others that have you know dove into this with everything that they've got. So you will find a little bit of everything on our team. But the one thing that connects us all together is our love for this product and our love for helping each other with this business. Uh, we have an incredibly collaborative team, a collaborative team of leaders who work together to share things. Um, we are always doing trainings with each other. We are always sharing. Is she in front of a green screen? I'm sorry. I, I know this has nothing to do with what she's saying. I guess like... Her hair, to me, it looks like it keeps, like, clipping in and out. I thought she was, like, sitting in front of a wall. I could be wrong. and This could be a real wall. But maybe it's not. Maybe she just wanted to make it look like this is her house. Um, okay, you know, social media is not fake. 
and resources that work with each other. This call is just one example of that. Um, we are offering these calls across the next week or so. Yeah, this is definitely a green screen. Why? Why not be your true authentic self like they always promote? Like people love when you're truly yourself and you, you know, you show your messiness. Like what's she hiding? Uh, with multiple leaders in our organizations who are all sharing the information about our incredible team. So it is just something that I, I feel really passionate about um, because it is it's given me so much more than just a business. It's given me this incredible group of women and men that I work with now on a regular basis. And I absolutely love that. Um, it's also too, you know, I mentioned the fact that a lot of us aren't salespeople and we talk about this all the time that, you know, you do have to share the product. Like it can't, you know, just, you know, get the box and then expect to have a business. You've got to wear it and share it, but it is something that you get used to talking about very easily. And I, you know, I give the example all the time that even on days when I'm just not even maybe in the right headspace and somebody will compliment me on my nails and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's Color Street. Have you heard of it? You know, I'd love to give you a sample. I'd love to share. To just give somebody a nice compliment and then to have that happen. You know, she was just, or they were just complimenting your nails. Like, oh, you have pretty nails. It's like, oh, and then it goes into this whole sales pitch. And it's like, you know, the, the robot clicks on. She's like, I wasn't having a good day. And then somebody compliments my nails. I'm like, oh, uh, this is a possibility for me to share this opportunity with someone. It's like, no, they just were complimenting you. Leave them alone. This with you. Um, so, you know, we're a walking billboard for our product. And um, it's just like anything else that you would use and love and share. I mean, I just had somebody message me about, um, you know, the fact that they tried a new restaurant and that they wanted to share that with me because they know how much I love, you know, this kind of food. And um, it, it's just like that. You know, it is a product that we love, we enjoy, and it makes it super easy to share. Um, you know, a lot of questions that we sometimes get about this business, things like, you know, does it take a lot of time? Well, I already mentioned we have a lot of people on our team who work part time, who work full time, who manage families, you know, just one of them, she um, works multiple things. Um, sometimes we wonder if we're sleeps, but she, no, just kidding. Um, she has... Um, you know, a very diverse life with a, a job and, you know, and running and coaching and all these other things that she does. Um, you know, I don't work another job right now, but I do have my hand in some other things. And then I have three children, one of whom has some pretty significant special needs. And, and so, you know, you will find people who are balancing this business in their lives. They're fitting it where it fits for them and where it works for them. I have a, a stylist on my team that, you know, I do a lunch hour coaching call with her because she's working a full-time job and she works her business on the at lunch hour every day. So it's all about what you want from this business and then we're gonna support you um, in how you're gonna get there. Um, you also have so many tools and they are a little jealous because you know when we launched in this business, we had nothing and um, we had a website and that was about it. And we didn't even have that until the first day. Um, but now you have, you know, there are app trainings. Um, we have this amazing app that lets us track our sales, it lets us connect with our customers. It gives us all these different training resources. Um, it's absolutely incredible. And oh, by the way, you also earn points for doing the training that gets you um, free uh, nails, which is or free swag, which is pretty cool. Uh, free nails or free swag? <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be uh, both, but I just think they want you to do these trainings because it's more love bombing. It's more you are showing your devotion to the MLM by watching these trainings and it's more mind control. That's how I see it. And then they're like, well, since you watch this, you get a free nail polish strip and you're like, oh, good. I can sell that and hopefully, you know, see some money come in. I'm not sure if I finished my last thought um my husband called me and it stopped the recording so uh whatever I was saying I think I finished but basically I was saying that like they want you to do these training so that it's more immersing you in the business so that you feel important you feel like they're you know they're training you like it's a real job um which is funny because then they also call it your own business so you get trainings for your own business but I mean, I guess if you do have your own business and you're teaching yourself something, but like you're using the internet, I guess that is like training, but you are searching out the information versus the information being 
given to you and how you should do it and how you should be managing your own business. I mean, really, they're just creating carbon copy robots across all MLMs of how to sell the product slash mainly how to recruit. For your parties, we have just some really incredible resources, like I said, shared across all of our different um, legs of this team. So it is really an incredible business and it's completely on the go. You can work it from your phone. Um, I you know, tend to work in the carpool line and <laughs> anywhere else where you can find those, those few minutes to just reach out and connect with somebody. Um, so it is absolutely um, a lot of fun. And we talk a lot. She said it. About, you know, what got us started. I know, you know, they both have um, different stories. I don't know if you want me to tell mine first. Or do you want to tell yours first? You, whatever you want to do, you can jump on in. And, <laughs> um, and well, like, like I said, I told you the first time. Um, so she was super excited uh, about this new product and, you know, had been, met with um, the person who brought her into the business um, with Janet, which actually I think I see Janet here. Um, and she, you know, was telling me about it. We went and had coffee and we were talking about it. And I said, that's great for you, but uh, I just don't think I'm going to sell nail polish. Come on, I'm a hot mess. I mean, like, really, am I going to sell nail polish? Um, but what I found is actually the fact that I am a hot mess is what makes me love this business so much because um, ended up, you know, giving how relatable some uh, a product to try, you know, and um, and so I did my nails for the first time and I went to the grocery store and I literally like had on a baggy sweatshirt, a pair of leggings, had my hair up in a bun. I don't think I had showered in like three days. Um, and the person in the checkout line complimented my nails. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like I, as a mom, as a, you know, who was really just, I, sometimes I struggle to, to keep it all together. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like my nails, we're actually done. My nails are actually put together. Like this is something that I feel really good about um, because I don't know if you've ever realized it, but we, you know, we'll put on makeup and stuff, but that's for other people to see. We don't really look at our own faces all day, but you look at your own nails all day while you're typing, while you're, you know, you're doing different things, you catch your own nails and you're like, wow, those are really fun. That I really enjoy looking at those something that you do for you. So I saw this business as a form of self-care, not just in the products, but in the team, um, as well as connecting with other people who are like me, um, looking for something else beyond um, being a full-time mom. And so that was what appealed to me about this business. And it has grown into something I truly never. It's selling nail polish strips. It's not this big grand thing. Like they always make it out to be like, it's not, I mean, yeah, maybe you made some friends along the way, but you know, people at other jobs make friends as well. People who are stay-at-home moms, it is more difficult for them, but they can join free Facebook groups. They can go to the park and strike up a conversation with a stranger. You know, you never know. Um, so you can find friends anywhere. I mean, I've, I've heard that. I don't do that, <laughs> but I've heard that's a possibility. So thank you. Well, yeah, it, it just Thanks makes, for not it, giving it, up on me. When, when you share, <laughs> that opportunity with someone and you're seeing the joy that it brings them. It really is so, you know, impactful for you as well. I mean, I was looking at this, I was kind of dabbling here and there after my business closed and, you know, I had the business mindset of like, okay, what, what's like the bottom line with this? And I was like, you know, I was like, you really want me to sell nail polish? And so I was a little hesitant, um, you know, just jump right in. She's like, what the heck? It's $129. You know, what's the best thing that can happen? And I was like looking at it like, you know, mom's still nail polish, but I was like, nails are nine billion. Hello, YouTube. People. You're so weird. <laughs> nails are nine billion dollar industry. And then, you know, you guys, these little things that these little accent nails that come in your kit, these are the money makers because you pop, you know, put them in your pocket, put them in your wallet, you pop them on someone and to, to show them how it works and they're blown away because it's that easy. And so as soon as I saw the product- Are nail stickers that life-changing? I was like, I'm completely in. And um, again, we all sat there saying like, we don't know what's gonna happen with this, but you know, you saw the stats, you guys, you've heard the numbers. We're a, you know, a four-year-old company. We're excited to expand to Canada, have our first international expansion. 
And um, we are so grateful for your time today. We're running a little bit over. Um, we're so grateful for your time. But what we want you to do is, first of all, thank you for coming and knowing that the person who invited you to this call saw something you know, important in you, something valuable in you, something special in you that they wanted you to come and, and listen a little closer to this call. So circle back with them. You know, um, We're going to end the recording. And you can you know, stay online and answer. we can answer any questions you may have. But circle back with them to make sure um, you have all the information that you need to make an informed decision. We're just here. We're not here to convince you, but just here to share some information. And we are thrilled that you are here. And we'll hope, we hope that you're going to join us on this journey. So thank you so much. If you want to end the recording, um, we can stay on and take questions if you have any. And feel free to unmute yourself. And um, we can do that. Bye, bye, Color Street ladies. I hate when they never say bye to me. So rude. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I was actually there, um, may may get a buy out of them. But um, was that fun? Did you guys have fun? I do appreciate that she said the word fun twice because in Color Street, it's all about the fun. Uh, the fun of having different colored nail strips on your nails and getting random compliments from strangers and then bombarding them with... A business opportunity and shoving nail stickers on them. I mean, of course, like, I'm sure they don't just like attack people um, and force it on them. At least I, I like to believe they have some sort of restraint from doing that. I, I like to believe in that. But with MLMs, you just, you just never know. I mean, since they never take no as an answer, I wouldn't be surprised if they physically grab somebody's hand, put a nail sticker on their finger and then demanded they join their team. All right, you guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk all things Color Street in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.